All right, folks, welcome back to Colorado where we're at Beaver Creek Reservoir. Uh, we're right outside of the town of South Fork where you can get just about everything. We saw some really nice tackle shops in town, which really surprised us, but look how beautiful it is up here. All right, more importantly, you can find a spot anywhere on the bank. There's public access everywhere and there's lots of trout, okay? We've only been here a couple of minutes. We're seeing them pop the surface everywhere right now. There's a lot of bug life, which may make our job a little bit tougher, but it just shows you there's a lot of fish in this reservoir. It's a perfect place if you're in Southern Colorado to come up here in the Rockies, enjoy this beautiful scenery, and have a chance to catch a lot of rainbow trout. Pretty impressive. Did you just get a bite? Yep, sure did. So Joe just had it. And now you got a rock bite. Yep, okay. Well, the trout will hang you up here. <laughs> You'll hook up, you'll hang up, you'll have a lot of fun way up here in the Rockies. Bottom, I just threw it out, atomic garlic. I got a double rig set up on this one, so I'm a little stalker it feels like. There he be. I think before it even hit bottom, I'm gonna tap on it. There it is, got him. Man, look how close that one is. It's right in here. A little starker He's over fighting here. harder though. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> here we go. Oh, nice, nice. Get him in here. Oh, there we go. Yes. So one of the nice things about states like Colorado is it does cost you money, but a second rod stamp allows you to fish bait, you know, soak bait, and then also cast and have fun like what Joe's doing right now. Now he, normally people do that with a, a flying bubble. He's got the bubble, but then he switched it over with a fire worm. And it just allows him to go out there and have some fun twitching baits, moving around, just looking for active fish while you have this bait right here, soaking and waiting for a fish that way. So a second rod stamp just allows you to have two chances instead of one and hooking that fish. And uh, we've had some really nice bites on this method as well. Oh, there it is. <laughs> New technique too. Look at this. Looks like a casting bubble to me. And I think we see a pink fireworm right there. That was quick. Look at that fish. Nice. All right, let me go over the setup I've got today and the main components. Very, very, very simple fishing setup for lakes. So all we're doing is using a basic Carolina rig and using our fire bait off the bottom. These are the three components that I'm talking about. So we got a barrel swivel, a quarter ounce egg sinker, and a size 12 fire hook. Simple enough. So here's the main rod, or the main line on the rod. I got eight pound fluorocarbon on the main line. Main line, goes down to a barrel swivel. And in between that is the egg sinker. It's a quarter ounce egg sinker that actually, so the fish won't be able to feel the, the actual weight when they actually pick up the bait. So you've got your barrel swivel tied on to, I've got four pound fluorocarbon on this thing. And the floor, fluorocarbon is about a 36 inch liter tied to a size 12 fire hook. And let me show you, that thing bites in good too. Look at that, there we go, fire hook. And I'll show you the way I'm doing. I'm using atomic garlic and chartreuse garlic primarily today. And use a little bit of this. And don't need much on this setup at all to float that hook. So what I typically do is just roll it up and get it on the hook. And try to actually roll it up in more of a cylinder, cylindrical shape more like a worm than anything else. It actually keeps it up floating at this kind of angle, makes it a lot easier. Then when the fish take it, you feel the bite through the actual line, right to your rod, set the hook. I think I've got one to actually tap this on. Yep, there it is. He tapped it on the way down. He was in shallow, man. <laughs> Another little stalker. Man, they put a ton of these little things in here. But they're fun to catch. You want to come out and catch your limit? Here you go. That's the way to do it. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Southern Colorado, but we're about an hour outside of Alamosa, you know, maybe only 10 minutes outside of South Fork. And we're here at Beaver Creek Reservoir. Now today didn't go as planned. We got here and mother nature let us fish for about 15 minutes and then all of a sudden, 35 mile an hour winds showed up. 
and I'm talking early in the morning. And unfortunately, we didn't get to stay as long as we wanted to because it was very hard to fish. Fortunately, we were able to do very well on this reservoir that's about just over 100 acres and somewhere around 8,700 feet. It's a beautiful reservoir. There's tremendous public access all the way around along the roadside at the dam and over by the inlet area. It's a perfect place for those of you that want to drive up, that want to camp, that want to put a car top boat out there. There is an actual paved boat launch here. I don't believe you're allowed to use gas powered motors. Don't quote me on that, but that's what we were told. But it's a place that rainbow trout thrive. That's because it is so heavily stocked by the state of Colorado. Now we caught those fish today two ways. For the most part, the first five trout that we caught, or Joe caught, I should say, all came on either atomic garlic or chartreuse garlic firebait. We did that because garlic's a really popular scent when it comes to trout. It proved to be productive today as well. Now, Joe was also messing around and he cast it out there with a fly and bubble combo. At least that's what we're going to call it for you. But you'll see that there's no bubble on the, or there's no fly on the bottom of it. There's a pink fireworm. Something else for you guys to try. We got several strikes on it and we hooked one right away. You'll see it in the fish's mouth right here before we had to leave because the wind got so bad it was time to go. But anytime you're in the greater San Luis Valley, head on up into the mountains where you'll find heavily stocked Beaver Creek Reservoir. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.